For a finite sequence of non-zero numbers, the number of variations in sign is defined as the number of pairs of consecutive terms of the sequence for which the product of the two consecutive terms is negative. What is the number of variations in sign for the sequence 1, minus 3, 2, 5, minus 4, minus 6? The problem with this question, of course, is simply interpreting what it means. We don't know what a variation in sign is. So this is something that has to be defined in the question. It's not a mathematical term that you're expected to know. It's something that you're expected to understand simply from reading the question. So we have to determine what they mean by this term variations in sign. So they say it's the number of pairs of consecutive terms of the sequence. So if we're looking at pairs of consecutive terms of the sequence, we can see this. So one and minus three is a consecutive pair. And then the next consecutive pair is the next group of two, minus three, two, or two, five, or five minus four, or minus four minus six. So now we have to worry about what the product is. So the product here is one times minus three, or minus three. The product here is minus three times two, or minus six. The product here is 2 times 5, or 10. The product here is minus 20. The product here, minus 4 times minus 6, is plus 24. So the number of variations in sign, the product is negative. Okay? So we have a negative product here, a negative product here, and a negative product here. So that's 1, 2, 3 variations. So when it's talking about a term like this, variations in sign, or some term that you're generally unfamiliar with, usually that term will be defined, and the difficulty of the question lies simply in determining what that term means, which will always be defined. You just need to make sure that you're interpreting the words of the question in as precise a way as possible. So in this case, we determined that we have consecutive pairs, so that's 1, 3, minus 3, 2, 2, 5, 5, 4. So each group of two consecutive numbers is a consecutive pair. And then find the product, and the variation in sign is when that product is negative. So again, we find minus 3, minus 6, minus 20. Those are our negative products, therefore those are our variations in sign.